Hey guys, I'm making this video today to discuss what is drive away. So, here we go. This is take two. I ran out of damn room on my my uh, cellular device, so I was like halfway through a whole video, and basically I had to start over, and I never do that, and it's irritating. So here we go, take two. All right, so basically what drive away is is drive away is an industry that ships vehicles from point A to point B. And if you become a drive away driver, what you are is a contractor for this company, whichever one you choose. And what you do is you uh make your way to wherever the truck is pick up the truck get the fuel that you need if it needs fuel and everything's on you then you take it to the location to where it's supposed to go drop the truck off turn in your paperwork so you can get paid because nobody works for free. And if you do, you're a prisoner. And this video is not for you. So. You drop that vehicle off. Turn in your paperwork. You use whatever mode of transportation. Make it to the next truck. Start this process over again. Okay. Do you have to work all the time? No. So most companies require you to do a run or a load every 30 days. So with that being said, uh, I'm a full-time drive-away driver. This is all I do for income. Okay. So... This is my profession, is to be a drive-away driver. I have been doing this except for two years since 2008. It's 2019 now. I took two years off. I'm not going to get into why I took two years off in this video. Okay, so I know the ins and outs. I've been everywhere, man everywhere so some places I never want to go again all right so these trucks that you pick up are CDL or non CDL trucks they are sometimes tractor sleepers they are sometimes tractors they are sometimes buses uh, what other kind of trucks are there? There's a long, long list. It depends on your license. That determines on what truck you can drive for the, your company. And also experience. And also there's a branch or a section of some companies that it's called a decking. And what that is is a whole different can of worms than drive away and it's trucks that's stacked you've seen them go down the highway or they're piggybacked and they go down the highway with three maybe four you know trucks stacked on one another it kind of looks crazy if you've never seen it before but basically that's how trucks are shipped you know maybe from terminal to terminal maybe from terminal to customer depends all right so now we're on the same page what is drive away all right let's get into how do you choose the company all right do, do you just go out there and try to find the one that pays the most i don't know this is what i suggest you do get you a pen and piece of paper make a list of requirements you want on this list, 
every requirement you want to ask your potential company there are hundreds of these companies there's some that's very very small I've heard of a company that only had four drivers I've heard of a company that has 2,000 drivers plus I mean they vary they're all over the damn map so what you do is you make a list you go down this list with each recruiter and you check off on your list did they meet your requirement or no I mean it's very simple so I mean some of your requirements is hey do they pay for fuel do they not pay for fuel do they pay for hotels do they pay a port of entry because those fuckers are kind of expensive sometimes and do they pay for toll roads do they pay for uh, hotels what is the breakdown pay when you break down uh, what is the hourly breakdown pay how fast does your breakdown pay start uh, let me think here do does the cut this is another one that this tripped me up once uh, if they pay for a flight do they pay for your luggage that you you put on the plane some of them are thirty dollars some are fifty it depends on how heavy your luggage is and how big it is and what they charge that shit can add up a lot in a week I've spent a couple hundred dollars in a week because I was flying everywhere it's crazy and also another thing that you want to ask the company is fuel surcharge do they give a fuel surcharge how much is the fuel surcharge all right and then if there are any added fees some companies will slide some fees in on you recently I had one company slide hundred and twenty dollars worth of fees and I'm not gonna get into that but uh, some of these companies have you pay for your own drug test drug tests are fifty to sixty seventy eighty dollars a drug test all right every company I've ever seen uh, I've ever had all of them have you pay for your own DOT physical, which, you know, as a driver, uh, I think that's a tax deduction, but I'm not a tax man. I have a dude that does my taxes. So, you know, another thing is your taxes. Do you want to go through an app on your phone and do your uh, itemized taxes as you go? Or do you want to have a tax dude that does your taxes and his fees are tax deductible too. So you want as many tax deductions as you can get. And another thing, uh, health insurance, <laughs> there is none. All right. So dental, vision, health, life, all your insurances for a new, uh, uh, a normal job. You ain't gonna have it because you're a contractor all right so that's a, a thing that I've never gotten any insurance other than uh, a insurance that a company will give you if you slip and fall on the lot though they'll, they'll cover a certain amount I'm not gonna get into that because it varies so much every company is different so you know you got that and uh, what else is there? Um, your complete tow vehicle, if you do have a tow vehicle, that's all on you. And so what else is there? Oh, man, it's hard for me to think about all this crap and put it on one video. So let's talk about an important thing to me. All right. So I work for a company they give me a fuel surcharge all right I'm gonna run through a possible load all right so they give me a fuel surcharge it's X amount of cents per load let's say it's you know 95 cents per load whatever all right for a fuel surcharge let's say on this particular load 
I got there. The dude had a full tank of fuel, and I spent zero dollars on this load for fuel. Okay, how much is my fuel surcharge? It's zero. Okay. But they, what they do is they'll give you a lump sum. Let's say the whole load was going to pay $1,000. All right, I made that full $1,000 for that load. All right, I didn't put no fuel in it. I didn't spend no money. I made a full $1,000 for that load. All right, and then, but what they do is they will hold out escrow and or act of god insurance whatever they call it that's what it is and they will hold that out let's say that's going to be thirty dollars so now you've made nine hundred and seventy dollars off this load out the door and so you really don't have any tax deductions on that other than you know your miles on your tow vehicle for deadhead. But with that being said, I'm not a tax guy. So, you know, that's what you need to find out about the fuel surcharge. And it's not mentioned to your dispatcher, hey, I didn't spend any money. I made all this money. Just don't even mention that stuff. And when you're bidding on a load, you don't really have to accept the amount on some companies that they say so this is how to word it with your dispatcher if you are speaking with a dispatcher so let's say you call in all right you say uh, hey you got a load they're like yeah we got this load it's going from whatever state to whatever state all right and it pays $850 then, then then, you say, hey, is there any money on top of that for transportation or anything? And then they'll be like, let me look. And then they'll come back at you, and then they'll say, hey, this is what I could do. I could give you another $50 on top of that. And then you say, oh, man, oh, man. Can you do 70 Can you do 70 And then they'll be like, well... I don't know, or no, or look, here's the best I could do. I'll do 65, all right? So then and there, you've made an extra $65 off that load, and, you know, so to speak, you're really not making the extra 65. I'm not going to get into that, but basically, that's how a crude negotiation can go. And some companies use an app, which you would done all that through the app. So, you know, it varies company to company. So, that's what I know. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, comment below. I'll try to do a follow-up video. Uh, I made it into Utah. I was up here in Idaho. So there we go. We made it, man. We made it to Utah. That's the end of this story. So be sure and like and subscribe. Be sure. Give me a thumbs up. Help me out, man. I need to reach as many people as I possibly can with this channel because this channel is not so much for me to hear myself talk but to try to literally help somebody because I got into truck driving I didn't know crap. Uh, if it wasn't for a buddy of mine giving me the information about drive away, I probably would have quit being a, a truck driver and ended up some dead end job being miserable for the rest of my life. Which I like drive away. I like seeing, look at this scenery here. See that? I like looking at them mountains. You know what I'm saying? So, here's what I'm going to say to you today. Get out there and make some damn money.